grandson Hussein is greater in the heavens than he is on earth. When I see him, my worries go away. Al Imam Al Hussein Salawatullahi Alayhi was born into the purest household in the history of humankind. His grandfather was Rasulullah Sallallahu Alayhi Wa Alayhi, the greatest creation of God. His father, Amir al Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful. His mother, the purest of all, Lady Fatima. And his elder brother, Al Imam Al Hassan Alayhi Salam, one of the masters of the youth of paradise. Where in history can you find a household as pure as this household? Al Imam Al Hussein Alayhi Salam had a special link with his grandfather, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alayhi Wa Alayhi, to the point where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was under stress, when he was hungry, he would go to the house of Fatima just to see Hassan and Hussein, just to see his beloved grandson Hussein. And he once stated to Aisha when she asked him, Ya Rasulullah, right now you're in pain, you're stressed, you're tired, you're hungry, where are you going? He said to her, I am going to see my beloved Hussein, because when I see him, my worries go away. When I see him, I forget that I am hungry. This is Aba Abdullah al Hussein. This is the man whom we are commemorating his legacy. We're celebrating his birth. Do you know who Al Imam al Hussein salam is? The Prophet once described him as Zayn al Samawati wal Ard, the beauty, the adornments of the heavens and the earth. Imam al Hussein salam states, when the Prophet said that, Ubay ibn Ka'b was sitting next to him. Ubay ibn Ka'b said to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, aren't you the only one who fits this description? You are the adornment of the heavens and the earth. The Prophet said to Ubay ibn Ka'b, my grandson Hussein is greater in the heavens than he is on earth. You think you know the status of my grandson Hussein? To the right of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's inscribed, Inna al Husayna musbahul huda wa safinatul najat. Hussein is the torch of guidance and he is the ark of salvation. Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam purifies our hearts. Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam is the symbol of humbleness. This is what attracts us to him, to his legacy. He welcomes everyone. He invites everyone to that ship. One day, Imam Hussain was passing by a group of destitutes, people who were stricken with poverty, and they were eating some crumbs of bread. That's all that they had. As the Imam السلام, passed by, they told him, Ya ibn Rasulullah, come and join us. We're inviting you. Now imagine if you pass by a group of poor destitutes. And they invite you to something so simple like that, just some pieces of bread. Would you accept their invitation? Even if you want to be polite, you would thank them and tell them some other time inshallah. But Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam came down from his horse. He greeted them. He sat next to them just like them. And he, the Imam alayhi salam, and he joined them in that meal. Then the Imam السلام, told them, come to my house. You've invited me. I've accepted your invitation. Now you come to my house and, ac and accept my invitation. They go to the house of Al Imam Al Hussein السلام, and he offers them a wonderful meal. This is the generosity of Abi Abdullah Al Hussein. This is the humbleness of Abi Abdullah Al Hussein. The Imam السلام, reminds us to always be generous even with those who are not good to you. Osama ibn Zayd was a companion of the Prophet who abandoned Ali ibn Abi Talib. He refused to pledge allegiance to Imam Ali. At his deathbed when Osama, the son of Zayd was dying, Imam al Hussein السلام, went to visit him. When he saw Al Imam al Hussein, he said, Wa gammah, I am in so much sorrow. The Imam السلام, told him, why? What is it that's depressing you? He says, I am about to die. And I am in debt 60,000 dirhams, 60,000 silver coins. I don't know how am I going to leave, leaving this debt to my family. This is causing me so much pain. The Imam السلام, told him, I will pay the debt 
on your behalf. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Osama said, but I want it to be taken care of now while I'm alive so I can die at ease. The Imam السلام, told him, in that same gathering, I have paid your debt right now. The Imam ordered for that money to be brought and he paid his debts. This is a man who abandoned his father. This is a man who betrayed Ali ibn Abi Talib. Yet Imam al Hussein السلام, pays his debt. This is the generosity of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. The Imam truly reminds us to be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His words open pathways in our hearts. One day a man comes to Imam al Hussein. He tells him, Yabna Rasulullah, I can't stop myself from sinning. I'm too tempted, always tempted. Help me, say something to me. The Imam Ali Salam told him, I'll say five things to you. If you can do them, if you can get away with them, sin as much as you want. Number one, don't eat from the rizq and sustenance of God. Eat only from the sustenance that you make. Can you do that? If you can manage that, sin as much as you want. But we're surrounded with the rizq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything we have is from God. Secondly, the Imam alayhi salam told him, if you can bring yourself out of the protection of God, the guardianship of God, the power of God, the wilaya of God, sin as much as you can. The third one, if you find a place where God does not see you, sin as much as you want. Number four, if you can protect yourself from death when the angel of death comes to you, sin as much as you want. Number five, on the day of judgment, if the angels take you to the fire of hell, if you can stop them, sin as much as you want. These words transformed the heart of this man. The Imam السلام, reminded him that all the blessings that you have are from Allah. How could you use God's blessings, use God's resources to sin against Him? This is Abu Abdullah al Hussein. This is the man who has inspired hundreds of millions of people throughout history. Even before Karbala, you see the Imam alayhi salam embodies all the teachings of Islam. Yes, in the land of Karbala, they culminated in him. And the Imam alayhi salam is indeed the path to salvation. Inna al Husayna musbahul huda wa safinatun najat. My grandson Hussein is greater in the heavens than he is on earth.